Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for everyone that God has granted the grace to be on this broadcast. Praise God. Praise God. Today, what a glorious day, the 12th day of our fasting. Day 12. And I want to thank God that it's been a successful waiting upon the Lord thus far. And I'm believing God that we will still continue enjoying you know, the presence of God and waiting on Him like never before. Praise God. So please, if you are just joining us, today is a day we pray. With a, you, we use a bottle of water as we pray. So get your bottle of water ready. It's a glorious day and we'll be praying with the use of a bottle of water. And I believe that somebody is going to have an encounter with God like never before in Jesus' name. We're talking about dreams and vision. We're talking about dreams and vision and I know that somebody, God has a message for you. So wherever you may be, get set to hear what the Lord has got to say concerning dreams and vision. Can reward come from dream and vision? That's what we're looking at today. Can I get a reward? Can you get a reward through the power of what? Dreams and vision. Can we? The answer is going to come as we commence with the broadcast the answer will come as we commence with the broadcast praise God can we get reward can there be a reward through what through dreams and vision so that's what we're looking at on our on our program divine insight and power of the world this fasting is the, the, in this fasting, the program of this fasting is simply known as Divine Insight and Power of the World. And each time God is opening our understanding to a different level of the scripture. So today, somebody, you would find out from the word of God how you can get rewarded from dream and vision. While some other people, their dream world is a place of fear, is a place of, you know, um, torment and, and all kinds of attack. For some other people, their, their dream world is a place of harmony. And today, in Jesus' name, somebody, you are going to enter into that realm where your dream wall will become a place of harmony in the name of Jesus Christ. Please without wasting time get your bottle of water ready we couldn't do today's broadcast and avoid or forget to use the bottle of water because in this broadcast we would use the bottle of water as we pray praise god hallelujah praise god should you have any question for the apostle kindly put in your question through whatsapp or the facebook um, contact and it will be attended to as soon as possible without any delay without any doubt to be taken care of god bless you god honor you god lift you up please if you are putting your prayer mandate it's very important that your prayer mandate is not too elaborate what i mean by that is that your prayer mandate as much as possible should not compromise your data protection please don't let it do not allow it to compromise your data protection. That simply means putting this prayer mandate in a coded form. So most times on this broadcast, the Holy Spirit has permitted us to do prayer, 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 prayer. And that's how we do it. But if you wanted to be a bit more explicit and to explain a, a little detail about your prayer or request or mandate, make sure, please, that it does not compromise your data protection we are very strict on that it's really really important we are very strict on that okay god bless you god honor you it's time let us just commence straight away be thou exalted O lord above all circumstances be thou exalted O lord above situations let your glory be above all the earth hallelujah let your glory be above 
all the earth. Man of God, woman of God, say with me, let your glory be above all the earth. Hosanna, let your glory be above all the earth. Join me and say, be thou exalted, O Lord, above all circumstances. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above situations. Let your glory be above all the earth. Hosanna, let your glory be above all the earth. Emmanuel, somebody say with me, glory to your name, glory to your name. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, honor to your name. We give you all the glory, Lord. Say with me, Emmanuel, praise the Lord. Glory to your name, Adonai, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, honor to your name. Hallelujah, Emmanuel, praise the Lord. Glory to your name. We worship your glorious name, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, honor to your name. Thank you, Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life, especially, Lord, in this new year, Daddy. You are the pillar that holds our life, rock of ages. You are the pillar, you are our pillar, Lord, Alpha and Omega. You are the pillar, you are our pillar, Lord. Somebody join me and say, cast me not away. Say with me from your presence, O Lord. Ancient of days, take not your Holy Spirit from us. Alpha and Omega, restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Jesus, renew our right spirit within us. Renew, O Lord God, Alpha and Omega, renew our right spirit within us. Cast us not away, ancient of days. Cast us not away, O Lord, from your presence, Jehovah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take not your Holy Spirit from us. Somebody say, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me, Adonai, the joy of thy salvation. Praise the Lord. Renew our right spirit within me. Renew, O Lord God, Alpha and Omega. Renew our right spirit within us. We say to you, Lord, take over, take control. Renew our right spirit within us. There is none like unto you, Jehovah Nisi. Renew our right spirit within us. Take over our dream world. Take over the power of vision. Renew our right spirit within us. Holy Spirit, we hand over everything to you. Renew our right spirit within us. Take over the gifts of God in our spirit, man. Renew our right spirit within us. Let's take it one more time. Join me and say, cast me not away, daddy, from your presence. Adonai, Adonai, take not your Holy Spirit from us. We beseech you, Lord God, restore unto us, Adonai, the joy of our salvation. Praise the Lord, in you are right spirit within us. O oh, faithful God, Adonai, my faithful God, Jehovah, you lift us up, you have rolled our cross, you gave us life, you wipe our tears, O oh Lord, you're always there, Daddy, you're a faithful God, you are a faithful God, you are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful. You are a faithful God, Daddy. You are a faithful God. O Saba Bire, there is none like you, Lord. You are Oba Oba, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. O Saba Bire, there is none like you, Lord. He will not to be Jew, the Almighty. But will any word you are, I worship you, Lord. Mo ye all of God, giving you all the glory. Mo ke, I cry out, Hosanna. To my King of kings and Lord of lords. Mo ke, crying out, Hosanna. One more time, join me and sing. Hallowed are the realm, like unto you. 
I wall up and wall back, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Kalo da be rare with like unto you. I wall at all be Jew, most high and the mightiest one. Mo wall any word you are, I bow down before you. Mo ye all go, I worship your glorious name. Mo ke, mo ke, Hosanna. I give you all the glory. I worship you, Lord. Mo ke, mo ke, Hosanna. I give you all the praise. I worship your name. Mo ke, mo ke, Hosanna. Alpha and Omega, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood upon anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. I plead the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Beginning at the end, take over, take control. Alpha, Omega, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, we gather before your presence. We plead the blood, we plead the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus. That which you have intended before the foundations of the earth were laid. Oh Lord, let that take preeminence, let that take control right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, expose, reveal unto us those things that you have intended even before the foundations of the earth were laid. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring more clarity, O oh Lord, to any and every life that will be under the sound of your servant. As we put in prayer mandates, as we put in prayer mandates, O oh Lord, may it be acceptable unto you, may it be acceptable in thy sight, in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal rock of ages, any obstacle, every obstacle in the atmosphere, I bind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. I plead the precious blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, Holy Spirit, cleanse the way. Let the atmosphere, O Lord God Almighty, be open. That is that we may receive from you. That we may be blessed in your presence. I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, Jesus jesus christ in the name of jesus 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 christ in jesus name blessed god glorious god alpha omega thank you O oh lord because we know by faith you have responded unto us and everyone under the sound of my voice jehovah the power backing up O oh lord the night vision the power backing up their dreams let the blood of jesus and the power of the holy spirit preserve activate bring back to life in the name of jesus christ thank you for always communicating and sending meaningful messages to us in the place of dream in the name of jesus christ we worship you we give you praise we worship you we give you praise we worship you we give you praise be thou exalted be thou glorified in jesus name we have decreed amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen jehovah you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy wherever you may be join me as you start to plead the blood wherever you may be plead the blood of jesus christ plead the blood Plead the blood of Jesus Christ wherever it may be. Somebody join me. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Take control, take over. Monita Loda be rare, who is like unto you. He will not by King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Monita Loda be rare, who is like unto you. He will not be you. You are the greatest one, the Almighty. But who let you are you are, I bow down before you. When you all go, I give you all the glory. Okay, crying out, Hosanna. So you King of Kings and Lord of Lords, okay, crying out, Hosanna. Somebody join me and say, Hello, Dabi who is like unto you. He will not bow, but King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hello, Dabi who is like unto you. He will not be you, greatest one, Almighty God. More than you are, you, I worship you, Lord. More in your go, I give you all the glory. More in crying out, Hosanna. I cry out to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. More in crying out, Hosanna. To the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we say, More in crying out, Hosanna. Somebody join me as we start to say, Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Let's start to cover every dream because today we are talking about dreams 
and vision. So somebody cover any dream, every dream. The ones you remember and the ones you cannot remember. Let's cover any dream and every dream with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus Christ. Every dream. Every dream God has given or permitted you to receive. He permitted it for a purpose. He permitted it for a purpose. The insight, the divine insight of the word and the power of the world will bring more clarity, will bring more understanding to us. In the Old Testament, we have a, a, a good representation of dreams. And in the New Testament, we have a good representation of the dream. Somebody under the sound of my voice, may you never take the place of your dream as being trivial. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you never make the place of your dream trivial. In the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> In the name of Jesus, excuse me. Reja Gadalagaba. Mashan Talemo. Mosakaba Etali. O Radaba Baba. La Breketelimo. O Zantere Bantali. Magaya Dalabos. Jagetelimo Sikaba. Ibran Telemoskaya. Mozake Telimo. Rogaba Baba. Rashan Talemoskayaba. O Lord. You communicate to us in dreams. Daddy, you speak to us in dreams. Daddy, everyone that have the power of dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone you've given the power. Oh Lord, today, open our understanding. Open our understanding. Help us to understand with clarity, Jehovah, that reward can come through the power of the dream. Hallelujah. Jagadalagaba. In Telie Gadalios, O Santa Keparoske, Jeka Librantali, O Zagababa, La Delemoskaba, Daddy, the power of dreams, Jehovah, the power of visions, the power of dreams, the power of visions. O Lord, communicate to your church with clarity in the name of Jesus Christ, Na Zagadalagaba, in Dreleketeli Kaya, O Zagaba, O Tali, Mo Sandali Kaya. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, beginning and the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any aborted dream, every dream that has been hindered, any dream that is aborted, hindered, the power of the Holy Spirit start to scatter and destroy. Any aborted dream, every hindered dream, in Jesus' name. Anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. Any aborted dream, every hindered dream, the power of God start to scatter, the power of God start to destroy. I say the power of God start to scatter, the power of God start to destroy. Any and every, in the name of Jesus Christ. Aborted dream. Any aborted dream. Every dream that looks as if it can never come to pass. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon such dream. I command in Jesus' name revival, restoration. I command revival, restoration. By fire, by force, upon any dream, upon every dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you're under the sound of my voice, you're the type that God gives a message in the dream and you cannot remember. Once you wake up to real life, you can't remember. Today, whatever is stealing that information, the power of God destroy it. Some of some of the people under the sound of our voice that looks that in the whenever the, the the Lord gives you a dream, you're paralyzed in the dream. You're paralyzed. The things that you're meant to say, the things that you're meant to do, you're not able to do in the dream. So the dream world is no more a place of reward to you. Today, whatever makes you to be paralyzed, the power of God scatter, the power of God destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shalaga Dalagaba, Manga Dalagaba, Jekete Bakato, Libra Deli Catali Musi, O Zantara Bakatali, O Zantara Bakatali Mantali, O Bali Cayen Dali Catali, Majale Keteli Musukaba, Endrele Keteli, Majaga, E Baga Dalagaba, Italimo O Salibantali Musika. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
thank you, oh God. Daddy, I soak every prayer coming in. Everyone pray. I mean, everyone putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer. God who seen the secret, openly reward you. Anyone, everyone. Putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer. Holy Ghost, take preeminence, take control. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody receive strength. Receive strength. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive strength. As you study the word, receive strength. As you stay in the place of prayer, receive strength. In the name of Jesus, as you pray in tongues, receive strength. As you pray right now, communicating in Jesus' name, your strength be renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for every life. Thank you for every man. Thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. Thank you for what you are achieving in us and through us. We give you praise. We honor you. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Hallelujah. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Hallelujah. Daddy, be thou exalted, be thou glorified. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me as you start to type in Jesus' name. Say my dream world. My dream world, a place of the world. Somebody join me. Prophesy. That is more like a prophecy. My dream world, my place of reward. It's no more a place of torment. If you are the type that used to feel afraid or you used to fear to have any dream, start to change, start to change the narrative. Start to change, start to change the prophecy. No more will I be afraid of going to sleep. No more will I be afraid of having dreams. My dream become a place of reward for me. My dream become a place of encounter. My dream become a place of reward, a place of encounter. My dream become a place of conversing with the Lord. Hallelujah. Although some people take it for granted, some people believe that it means nothing. Those who have that gift, they have it. And I'm communicating to those with such gifts, even whether you have discovered it or not, God sent me to those people. We have people in this life, in this world, that God has given the power of dream and vision. There are some other people, they've been given the power of trance. So trance is semi-sleep, semi-being asleep and semi-being awake. That's trance. You are not conscious of this physical world and you're not 100% in the spirit realm, as it were. So that's trance. But with the vision, you could catalambano, you could catalambano, you could coin on here with the spirit realm. With vision, you are in the spirit realm, you're obviously not conscious of this physical completely hallelujah so there are people with such gift and today the holy spirit day 12 we are focusing on people with a gift of vision dream and some could also have what we call trance hopefully as we study through the word we'll be able to see all these three and we'll start to pray with more understanding and we'll pray by faith alpha omega thank you oh lord for as many that will receive your word and that will be part of the word coming Thank you for as many that are doing the work of evangelists, sharing the broadcast, making comments, typing, so that the blessings of God may go round. Thank you for everyone you're using to ensure that this broadcast is standing. Thank you for the atmosphere. Thank you for the venue. Thank you for everything. Jehovah, take over, take control. Let your will alone be done. We give you praise with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, take preeminence, take control. In Jesus' name I've decreed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, God has sent a specific word to somebody. How is your dream world? What goes on in your dream life? Well, if you are the type with the power of dream, then we want to focus on what the Spirit of God is going to tell us today. Hallelujah. Do you know? While the dream world is a place of fear and torment for some other people. Some other people can't wait to, you know, to go to bed or to go to sleep. Some people can't wait to receive visions. Why some visions? Some people are fond of negative visions. Now, if you are the type that keeps receiving negative, negative, you are not there yet. Okay? You are not there yet. You keep praying. There's this person that Jesus prayed for. After Jesus prayed for him, Jesus required of him how the vision was like. He said that he could see human beings like trees. And Jesus knew that the vision wasn't complete. And Jesus had to pray again for him. And then now he could now see correctly. So if you are having, every time you are having vision, it's always negative, negative. You are not yet there. Keep praying. 
but the joy there is that at least you have the power of vision but you have to command it to obey the will of god you have to pray you have to submit yourself to the holy spirit so that that vision harmonizes with the will of god the vision sent to you dream sent to you the trance sent to you is to obey the will of god it's to marry up with ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12. If you do not mind, come, let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. I need to show you something. So if your dreams is not marrying up with Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 11 precisely, you see, it says, according to the eternal purpose which he had proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness, access with confidence by faith of him. Hallelujah. So your dream wall is supposed to go in accordance with, with the, the with the eternal purpose of god what god intended or proposed in christ jesus is very very important what god almighty proposed in christ jesus you are supposed to harmonize your dream is supposed to harmonize with it praise god the very first example the holy spirit will have us look at remember that our anchor scripture throughout this period of fasting is second kings chapter 3 verse 17 where god said that without rain without the wind your valley will be filled with water that's what we've been anchoring on and then job chapter 2 from verse 9 to 11 job held on to his integrity i want to believe that everyone who started the fasting with us will end with us in jesus name you hold on to your integrity till the very end and then job's lips never sinned against god I'm believing that throughout this period of fasting our lips will not sin against god and then again the wife of job may god not give us somebody like the wife of job that will be discouraging us from holding on to our integrity rather may god give us someone like what root root someone like root root chapter 1 verse 16 saying i am not carried away i'm not focusing on whatever is happening around your god be my god so this we are praying and trusting god don't forget this anchor scriptures because this is what the holy spirit has instructed praise god set today you know remember that the anchor scripture is second kings 3 verse 17 okay where bible said that without wind or rain your valley will be filled with water beautiful thank god for your life praise god now having said that today's scripture the first scripture i'm looking at is first kings chapter 3 so the other one is second kings chapter 3 but today's scripture our anchor scripture is from what first kings chapter 3 that's where we're focusing on first kings chapter 3 somebody god wants to bless you god wants to bless you thank you jesus god wants to bless you first kings chapter 3 from verse 10 to 15 not a long scripture 10 to 15 straight to the point for somebody who is anxiously wanting to understand what the spirit of god is saying to the church today praise god there is the man of god in this particular vision that god spoke to he said and the speech pleased the lord because god was asking solomon you know what he would have him do said the speech pleased the lord because solomon said give me wisdom and understanding that i might be able to rule over this your great people so the, that's the previous verse if you go back to check you would see it there and so he said this speech, this speech pleased the lord and solomon that solomon had asked these things I pray that during this period of fasting, that whatever you're going to ask the Lord will please the Lord. Our lips will not sin against God. Remember, Second Job chapter 2 verse 10. Job chapter 2 verse 10. Job did not sin with his lips. Here, he, this is happening in the dream world. My focus today is dream world. And that your dream world can be a place of reward. There are some of us that don't understand that your dream world can be a place of reward. Not only this physical life. God can come and reward you in the dream. And the kind of way you're speaking and pleasing God when you are awake, you can please God also in your dream. So all this is happening in Solomon's dream. His statement pleased the Lord. Verse 11 of 1 Kings chapter 3. He said, And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thy 
long life, neither has thou asked riches for thyself, nor has thou asked life for thy, you know, asked the life of thy enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Verse 12, Behold, I have done according to your words, lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee, before thee, neither after thee, shall there any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked for. I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked for, still in the dream both riches and honor i have given thee that which thou did not ask for both riches and honor so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days and if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my status and my commandment as thy father david did walk then i will lengthen thy days and Solomon are work. That's where I'm going. Solomon are work. And behold, it was a dream. And behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of God. He came to Jerusalem. He stood before the ark of God. He came to Jerusalem. He stood before the ark of God of covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offering please take note of this and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants you see i showed you in second kings chapter 3 verse 17 second kings chapter 3 verse 20 now the prophetic word came in verse 17 second kings chapter 3 17 that without wind and without rain your valley will be filled with water, but it never happened until verse 20. When the meat offering was offered unto God, immediately the meat offering was offered unto God in the morning. Bible said that by the power of God, Edom, the, the water Edom came and filled the whole country. And all valley was filled with water. But after the morning sacrifice, do you understand? Look at what Solomon did after he woke up. Bible said he woke up in verse 15 of 1 Kings chapter 3 and the next thing he did was to do what? Offer up a burnt offering, offered peace offering and made a feast to his people. Most of us when God gives you a very powerful dream, you don't make an offering. You don't make an offering. You don't make an offering. You have to understand how spiritual things work. When God shows you something, and you know that it is God talking to you. This is the right thing to do. I've shown you in first, Second Kings chapter 3 verse 20. That an offering was given. And I even said that day when we first started this fasting. That even if it means you offering a dog food or a bird. But an offering must be given. You must have something to offer. There is nobody without the grace to offer something. And later on, I will show you from the book of Isaiah that whenever you fast, you must make an offering. You must offer somebody. You must offer something. You must show mercy. Your, the prophetic release of God is activated in your life, in my life, when offering is offered unto God. Immediately that is done, straight away, whether you receive that prophecy physically or you receive it from the dream, Prophecy is prophecy. <clears throat> as rewarding as this physical life is, that is how rewarding your dream can be. And even if in this physical life, when you receive from God, you don't make an offering, it is also not going to happen just like when you receive prophecy in your dream and you do nothing about it and you don't make an offering. God is respecter of no persons. There are principles that must be followed. You notice that some people's dream wall is very, very rewarding. Some other people's dream wall is tormenting. That can be an issue of an attack, demonic attack, evil, enchantment, what have you. Deliverance can be done. But if you are the type that you have been observing, God is talking to you, God is communicating to you, the, the question is, when God communicates to you, do you remember to take bold steps to offer? Do you walk by faith? Solomon was already thanking God as if God had done it physically. 
And do you know, a lot of people think that you need to work very hard to be wealthy, to have riches. Go and read all the Bible. You don't work to have riches. You only work to eat. You could never work and have riches. Riches is a gift from God. And you ask for riches. And even when you don't ask for riches, once your way is pleasing to God, it gives you riches. There's difference between working and being able to eat and being wealthy. Wealth does not come from working. A lot of people don't know. Wealth is a gift from God. I could give another example just for clarity's sake. Wealth is a gift. I already read it when God said, because you did not ask, even what you did not ask for, I have given unto thee. Verse 13. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor. You can't work to get honor. You can't work to get riches. Hallelujah. God gives it as a gift to whomsoever is working in line with his will, to whomsoever is working in accordance to his purpose. Hallelujah. Wealth, wealth, riches, it's a gift from God. Isaiah 45. Let me quickly read something to someone. Isaiah Isaiah 45 from verse 3. And I will give unto thee the treasures of darkness. Give. And I will give unto thee. You don't work for it. If, you, if your life is in harmony with the will of God, he gives it to you. You ask, he will give it. Even when you don't ask, he will give it. Hallelujah. See, he says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of the secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by name, I am the God of Israel. Just to make us understand, 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 13. You, he said, what you did not ask for, I will give unto you. Somebody, this is happening in the dream. God is rewarding someone in the dream world, in the place of dream. I prophesy to somebody today, that from today in Jesus' name, your dream will not just be ordinary. Your dream will not be a place of defeat. Your dream will not be a place where you, you will be scared out of the perfect will of God. Your dream world will not be a place of torment in the name of Jesus Christ. May the dream wall, your dream wall, as you're under the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name, become a place of honor, a place of receiving from the Lord, even the things you never asked for. Even the things you never asked for. May you, as you go through this fasting in Jesus' name, be guided by the word of God, such that your statement, your speech, will please the Lord. May you be guided by God, that your statement, your speech will please the Lord. You will not be one of those that your speech will be an abomination unto God. Because Bible made us to know that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. Your, 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 in Jesus' name, your statement, your speech will not be an abomination unto God. It will not be in Jesus' name. Your dream wall in Jesus' name will be a place of dominion will be a place of dominion, a place of receiving, a place of receiving. You will be receiving prophetic guidance, prophetic direction, prophetic release in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, I want you to know this is your year, the year in which God will give you wealth. This year is the year God will give you riches and honor in the name of Jesus Christ because you have followed his will because you have followed his instructions because you have followed his his mandate hallelujah somebody under the sound of my voice your weakness is that you will never learn to offer learn to offer unto god stop offering for people to see you offer sacrifices unto god offer sacrifices that honors god and not man in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up in the morning and give what? The, that meat offering. Rise up, give a meat offering in the morning. Rise up. Look at Solomon giving an offering unto God. Three levels of offering. But even in Second Kings chapter, chapter 3 verse 20, only one offering was given. Only the morning offering. But look at, Solomon gave offering throughout almost the whole day. He gave the burnt offering. He gave the, the meat of the, the, the peace offering. He gave and um, made a feast that everyone came to eat to glorify God. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Ensure this year 
in this period of fasting, at least your morning meal, use it to bless somebody. The money you would have used to procure your meal in the morning, sow it into somebody's life. Feed livestock, feed a bird, feed goats, feed a chicken, just feed, bless something. Bless, bless God's creation. Bless God's creation. And if you are able to do what we call burnt offering, go ahead and do burnt offering. If you are able to do what we call peace offering, go ahead. Whether you are, you are giving peace offering, whether you are giving burnt offering, whether you are sowing in the church, somebody give an offering of your time. Go to the church and clean the whole place. Help an elderly person. Just make do sacrifice. Do a selfless thing that honors God. Do a selfless thing that honor God. Bring peace to a place where there's chaos. Do behave like God. Ask yourself if God were to be in this situation, what will he do? Offer that. Offer that. Normally you know what you should do as a person. But offer something as if God is the one doing it. And watch what will happen before this fasting is over, before this year is over. I'm here to strengthen somebody that your dream world will not be a place of torment anymore. Your dream world will not be a place of defeat anymore. Your dream world will not be a place of doubt anymore. Your dream world will not be the place whereby you are scared anymore in Jesus' name. Your dream world, as you continue with the word of God, as you continue with prayer and fasting in the Holy Ghost, as you continue with the holy life, in the name of Jesus Christ. May you have your first experience with God. And those of you who are having experience of God in your dream, may you not get familiar with it. Don't get too familiarized with it. Don't familiarize yourself so much. Don't commit the sin of familiarity. Don't commit the sin of familiarity. Don't get familiar with God in your place of dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't get too familiar. Regard God. Fear God. Regard God, fear God, honor God with this wonderful gift he has given to you. Not everybody dream and it comes to pass. Not everybody gets instructions in the dream before they live that life in real life. So if you have that gift, cherish it. If you have that gift, use it to honor God. If you have that gift, don't take God's glory. Because a lot of people say, except I did not have that dream. They start to do it as if it's their own power. Forgetting that it's the gift of God. Hallelujah. And God expects us to minister with it. And if you are the type that your dream is just made up of negativity from beginning to the end, then in Jesus' name, let caution come in as you ask God for deliverance. As you pray that God deliver you from any power of negativity. A lot of people are into negative dreams, negative prophecy, negative that and that. When they dream, they are seeing somebody dying. When they dream, they are doing this. I know somebody would have expected me to talk about different meanings of dream. What you see, when you see this in the dream, this is what you mean. But remember that the instruction of the Holy Spirit is to focus on how your dream becomes a place of your reward. So we are giving specific topic to focus on. However, if you have other questions concerning dreams, if you call or send message, then I will give you scriptures to read that will bring clarity to you. The word of God cannot lie. Hallelujah. But today we are coming to somebody under God to say that no more will your dream be a place of torment. No more will your dream world be a place of, you know, of, of a place of being afraid, a place of losing. You will not lose again in your dream world. You will not lose. You will not lose and then in real life come to lose. Never. Your dream world becomes a place where you will conquer. And every prophecy God is sending to you from the dream, from the power of dream, whether you are the one dreaming it or sending someone to you, in Jesus' name, these dreams will come to pass. Remember, you have to give an offering. You must offer. Once you receive prophecy of a dream and you know it is God talking, don't do it to please any man. You have to offer unto God. It's a command. You just have to understand. It's a command you will not see. But look at every scripture. You will see that every time a prophetic release comes true or apostolic release comes true, it must be backed up with a sacrifice. And let every man sacrifice according to their capacity. You don't have to go beyond your capacity to sacrifice unto God. Because he knows what you are made up of. He knows what you are consist of. So within your 
your capacity you offer unto God. You can offer your time. You can offer your strength. You can offer your love. You can offer your substance. But offering is important, is mandatory to activate that prophetic release from God in the place of vision, in the place of your dream. In Acts chapter 10 from verse 3 to 7, Acts chapter 10 from verse 3 to 7. For those who want to check, it is a place where God decided to reward Cornelius. Cornelius had been... Now, in the case of Cornelius, Cornelius started with sacrifice. Cornelius was living a life of sacrifice. Now, it depends on how you are working with God. You see, Solomon did not give sacrifice. But in his heart, he was praying and meditating and yearning to please God. As soon as God responded to him in the dream, he came to give sacrifice physically. Now, I'm giving you another example. <clears throat> in the case of Cornelius, Cornelius had already, he was living a life of sacrifice. He was living a life of blessing people, of sacrificing, and his giving was, give, was a giving as unto God and not man. Hallelujah. His giving was as unto God and not man. When he gave, he gave with all of his heart. And the Lord met with him in the place of vision, in the place of dream, and told him that all his sacrifices has been what? Has been accepted. Hallelujah. Has been accepted. Praise God. It's a memorial unto God. You get that account in Acts chapter 10 verse 4. Acts chapter 10 verse 4. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy arms, can you see that? Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before God. He was living a life of offering, sacrifice, bond offering, you know, peace offering. He was just giving. He was not giving so that somebody can notice him. He started with sacrifice and the Lord came to reward him and said, listen, now it's time for you to be rewarded. And he came to him in the place of dream. And when Cornelius woke up, Cornelius acted on what he was told. Hallelujah. He was told in verse 5, send men to Joppa. Instruction. Every detail was given to him. And when the angel had finished speaking, the angel departed in verse 7. Angel departed and he called two of his household servants, devout soldiers, that waited on him continually. They never leave. They are always there attending to him. He called them and gave them that instruction. Somebody received the power to obey the instructions that will be given to you in the dream. Somebody received the power to catalambano the prophetic and apostolic godly words that will be loaded up into your spirit realm in the, in the dream world or in the vision. And the sacrifice that you are giving may it activate the purpose of God in your life. See, you can receive it and you can, God forbid, choose not to receive it. Your receiving it is to sacrifice unto God. Act by faith. Act by faith. Give arms to the less privileged. Give arms. A book of Isaiah said, dish out your food. Dish out your meal. The meal that you were meant to take during the fast, bless somebody who is hungry. That's another form of sacrifice. Amen. Help somebody who is... Do one good deed. Help somebody that is dearly, crucially in need. Just do something unto God. But remember, any dream that you do not add a sacrifice to will not be activated. Any prophetic word you receive and you act, you do not offer sacrifice unto the Lord. It might not, it just remain like that, nothing will happen. If somebody today, I know you are realizing why your dreams had been delayed. I will not use the word, it will not come true. I use the word delay. Some people, their dream have been delayed for the past 40 years. Some people, their dream have been delayed for the past 30-something years. 
Now, if you are the type sacrificing, you will see you walking in your dream almost instantly. You will see your dreams unfolding almost instantly. If you were to look at the life of Joseph, for example, let me just give that illustration. In Genesis chapter 37 verse 5, Joseph had a dream. And after that dream, it was as if problem started. But notice the life of Joseph. It was a life of sacrificing unto God. Even seeking the happiness of other people. Wanted people to feel happy. Joseph kept on looking for the happiness of people around him. It was a form of sacrifice. And every time he was doing that sacrifice, he kept on getting closer to the manifestation of that dream. Every time you sacrifice, you get closer to the reality of your dreams. Everything you, every time you sacrifice unto God genuinely, not for people to see you, you sacrifice as unto God. You come closer to the manifestation of the dreams he showed to you. That's God for you. Until the full manifestation of the dream of Joseph, everything was always taking him closer to the manifestation of that dream, even when he did not know. I needed to add this. Even when he did not have a clue. It wasn't only Joseph also who had a dream. In fact, Jacob had a dream, Genesis chapter 31 verse 11. Genesis had a, 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 Jacob had a dream, I mean to say. Genesis 31 verse 11. Genesis 31 verse 11. Jacob had a dream. So dreams in the scripture is not something new. It is not, and every time you see the Bible record somebody having dreams, they always know the right things to do. Hallelujah. They always know the right things to do. And that's why their dreams will always manifest or become a reality. Another thing is that even if you offer sacrifices, your offering sacrifices is to connote that you believe in that dream. Now, any dream you don't believe in cannot come to pass. Cornelius believed in the dream and sent men. If you do not believe, it will not come to pass. You must believe enough to sacrifice. Hallelujah. Some of us say it's just an ordinary dream. We use our own lips to destroy the blessings of God coming in the, through the power of dream. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Many people use their mouth to destroy the reward coming from their dream to call it an ordinary dream. They don't know what to do. They have the dream. God, me, God meant it. God intend to carry it out. But they don't know what next to do. Everyone that have had any meaningful dream, dream that you're sure is from God, you have to offer immediately. Offer something unto God, not man. Offer as unto God. You cannot lack what to offer. You can offer your time. You can offer your strength. You can offer your energy. You can offer substance. Most times in the Bible, they always offer something. Meat offering and things like that. But should you not have something like a meat offering, offer your time. Offer your love. Somebody offered her love. Ruth chapter 1 verse 6. She offered her love. She offered her all. She offered her all. She said it. She said, I don't mind. Your God be my God. Where you die, I want to die. Then she offered her all. You must offer to trigger up your dreams. Remember that a woman also offers her all. The man offers her all. That's why they say at the altar, all that I have, all that I own, I deal with. You are sacrificing everything. That's what it means. And the woman says the same. There is no dream that will ever come true without sacrifice. There is no dream. There is no dream that will ever come true without an offering. You must offer something. For the dream of the children to become a reality, parents keep offering and offering and offering until maturity. Even when they, they are fully matured and married, yet will they still offer again. They offer different things. They offer their time. They offer their love. They offer their experiences. They offer advices. They offer prayer. Offering can never cease. Please take note. Offering can never cease. The day offering ceases, that day visions start to die. The day offering ceases, that day visions start dying. Just as a gentle observation, there is what we call trance. Trance is neither fully asleep or fully awake. Trance is you're not fully conscious of the physical life, neither are you 100% in the spiritual realm. You're just like in between the two. Example of that you have in the book of Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10 from verse 10 to 17. Peter entered into a little trance. He was waiting to have his meal. He was waiting to have a meal. But you see, the trance also still carried a message. And that message was very prompt. And Peter 
got up in obedience. Now, in Peter's case, his sacrifice was to be obedient. Because even in the dream, he was struggling to obey in the dream. He said, this is unclean. I have never eaten anything that is unclean. He was struggling. And that's what he would have done in real life. But the Lord captured exactly what would have been the source of error and corrected it. I prophesy in the life of somebody, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is meant to be the error this year, may the Lord uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord uproot it even as you are fasting and praying. As you are offering unto God, may the Lord uproot what would have brought serious error this year into your life. May every dream that the Lord reveal unto you manifest in Jesus' name by fire, by force. May every dream God will reveal unto you, may it manifest by fire, by force. Any and every dream the Lord will reveal unto you, may it manifest by fire, by force in the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head, man of God, to the soles of your feet, from the crown of your head, woman of God, to the soles of your feet, I am decreeing, declaring, I am declaring, I am decreeing that in the name of Jesus Christ, any and every instructions of God or blessings of God in the dream, in the name of Jesus Christ, will catch up with you and catch up with anyone under the sound of my voice. Your dream world will never be a place of torment anymore. Your dream world will never be a place of defeat anymore. Your dream world becomes a place of gathering, gathering, and gathering as unto God. Your dream world becomes a place of reward in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord remembers Solomon in the book of First Kings chapter 3. First Kings chapter 3, as the Lord remembers Solomon. The Lord remember you, remember your household. First Kings chapter 3 from verse 10 to 15. The Lord remember you. The Lord remember you. As Solomon rose up by faith to offer unto God. May the Lord grant us the grace to offer unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 20. They offered meat offering also. May the Lord help us to offer. And may what we are going to offer unto God. Trigger up the manifestation of our dreams. Of our visions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get your bottle of water ready. Because we are praying with a bottle of water today. As you know. Holy Spirit says stop there. Somebody can we start to pray. Somebody can we start to pray. Cover your dream world with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. What is that dream you had concerning your son, your daughter? What is that dream you had concerning your wife, your husband? What is that dream that you have concerning this year? What is that dream that the Lord has shown to you? Let us start to pray. Especially if it is negative. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost scatter. Holy Ghost fire. And scatter and destroy. Your dream world must become a place of reward for you. It cannot be a place of torment. Look at all the scripture I've read. The Lord made the dream world a place of blessing. The dream world is a place of blessing. It's not a place that a masquerade will chase you. It's not a place that somebody will collect your clothes. Somebody will make you defecate. Somebody will make you walk naked. No. The dream world is not for such things. <coughs> The dream world is a platform God created. If Facebook can create a platform and say what they want in their community, if other social media can create their platform and say what they, want, what they want in their community, God created the dream platform for a purpose. Somebody you are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, my dream world will represent the purpose of God creating that platform. The dream world is a platform. It's not everybody that have that grace. But if you have that grace, it must work for you. It must work for you. It must work for you. Oh Lord, my dream world become a platform functioning for my reward. Functioning for my reward for my encounter with you in the name of Jesus Christ. For my reward for my encounter with you. The Lord rewarded Solomon. The Lord rewarded Cornelius. The, the Lord rewarded Joseph. The Lord rewarded uh, Jacob. The Lord rewards in the dream. He does. He rewards. He rewards. And he rewards and it becomes a reality. Oh Lord, reward me in the dream and let it become a reality in the life that I live. Help me to sow the seed needed. Help me to give the offering needed. Help me to give the offering needed. Every man must offer. Once the Lord shows you like that, it's a, it's a law that you will never see written in blue black. But go and check everyone that enjoys the platform of the dream as a place of reward. 
go and check their lifestyle and you will see that every time they would always sacrifice they will always sacrifice even if you do not enter into the dream realm into the dream realm or the dream platform even if you don't enter there if sacrifice is your lifestyle you would always see that dreams will come true our father Abraham was relaxing on a tree and he saw that God Almighty and his angels walk past and he sacrificed he sacrificed and as he sacrificed in the in the physical his dream came to manifestation because the Lord told him by this time next year your wife will be what will be pregnant will will be embracing a man child if you are the type that would sacrifice unto God not for man to see anything you're doing do it as unto God stop doing eye service it doesn't take anybody far it will not take us far it will not Solomon did not it was himself and God Cornelius did not it was himself and God somebody as you focus on heaven heaven focus on you I say as you focus on heaven heaven focus on you as you focus on heaven as you focus on heaven heaven focus on you in the name of Jesus Christ ibantere mantalio ibantere malikatalios ozagaba ekatalimosikaba somebody as you drink this water with us any and every correction in Jesus name needed in your dream world the power of the Holy Spirit make it a reality the blood of Jesus make it a reality anyone everyone under the sound of my voice in Jesus name as you drink this water with us the power of the Holy Spirit as this water goes around your entire system your entire body to correct and to be a blessing to the cells of our body so will the power of the Holy Spirit take over your dream world take over the world your vision life take over the power of trance in your life every power that God is using to communicate that platform of trance the platform of vision or dreams the Lord take over the Holy Spirit take over take control that platform becomes a platform that rewards it becomes a platform of reward it becomes a platform of reward or a platform where you get instructions on what to do that's why Bible talked about the book of Psalms says, My reigns instruct me in the night season. My reigns instruct me in the night season. Hallelujah. You can see how God instructed Cornelius. How God instructed Cornelius. So your reigns can instruct you in the night season. You can even see that in the same way as God is instructing Cornelius, God was instructing Peter. You can get clear, clearer instructions. You can get clearer visions and directions through the power of the vision of the night you can get it through trance somebody under the sound of my voice put in prayer put in prayer prayer put in prayer 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 cover yourself your children in the name of Jesus Christ with the blood of Jesus look at the father of Joseph the father of Joseph God is saying I want to reward your family through this child he was telling them in the dream the father of Joseph interpreted the dream but the father of Joseph got angry. You can't get angry with the choice of God. If God wants to do something, it is not for you to be angry or for me to be angry. You can't get angry if God wants to bless somebody or lift up somebody and reveals it in the dream. The father of Joseph that should be praying for Joseph, that should be happy. God said, this is how I want to reward you. Who can counter what God wants to do? Did he not come to pass? Did God not do it? Even though he got angry. <clears throat> he got angry but he could not stop it because God did not ask people to vote on how it should be done God only showed in a dream this is how I want to reward your household the father of Joseph should have started praying if you're under the sound of my voice you don't take the dreams of your children serious it doesn't have to be because you are the father or because you are the mother you must be the one dreaming God can give dream through your son God can give dream through your daughter pay attention you don't have to co you can convert such gift but you can't jealous such gift he has already wired me and wired you if you don't have that gift you don't have it if you have the gift you have it hallelujah but god expects us to walk in harmony with all our gifts there is no man that is not gifted it's just for you to find out which gift of god works in your system and your body hallelujah the father of joseph had interpretation at that point joseph did not even know the meaning the father interpreted correctly 
and what the father interpreted several years after happened exactly like that everybody you have the gift of god in you but make good use of it and especially if you are the type that the lord is speaking to right now or will speak to through the power of dream and god wants to reward you remember to sacrifice remember to offer unto god remember to bring an offering the minimum offering you can bring is what is in second kings chapter 3 verse 20 minimum offering is the morning offering morning at least one offering but if you can you can offer in the morning offer in the afternoon offer in the evening you at least you can do that minimum offering you can do at least minimum offering of six o'clock to twelve o'clock you can offer you know you can offer your your morning meal and just wait on the lord and just fast sacrifice fast and that which you would have used for breakfast bless somebody that which you have used for breakfast let it be a blessing to another household and watch what god will do as we go towards the end of this year let every man that have the ear hear what the spirit is telling the church as you put in your prayer put in your prayer prayer grab your bottle of water man of god woman of god grab your bottle of water right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah grab your bottle of water it's time for us to pray it's time for us to pray over the water alpha omega ancient of days i want to thank you oh lord for this great provision you are making available to us you're, you're making to you're making it to be available unto us and our household daddy you're making it available to to the adult and to the children daddy you are not discriminating i want to thank you oh god for this gift and i want to thank you thank you some who call it the platform make this platform oh lord as we partake oh god in this particular instruction you're giving to us as we drink this water let this platform transform for somebody that it's not been working correctly for let it transform for somebody it's not been working correctly for because in genesis chapter one when the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep the spirit of the lord moved over the face of the deep and brought correction the spirit of the lord moved over the face of the deep and brought correction as the lord instructed everything started to fall into line let the spirit of the lord move over the face of the deep move over every water lifted right now as the people of god start to drink in the name of jesus Christ, by virtue of the word of god that has gone forth by the power of the word of god that will come in the place of the dream oh lord let everything start to fall into line in the name of jesus christ people will live fulfilled life dreams oh god will come true dreams oh god will come in reality Everyone that have been defeated before now in their place of dream, we cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. As you drink this water with us, the Holy Spirit brings correction in your life. The blood of Jesus brings correction in your life and in the life of your children. That the time that never listens to your children, when they communicate what God is saying, or you start to get jealous of those children, you start to have the right understanding, you will not act like the father of Joseph in the name of Jesus Christ, prolonging time. Everyone that is like Cornelius, when God gives instruction in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you today will give you the power to act on those instructions. When you see yourself doing a particular business in the dream in real life, you will receive the grace to obey. If you see yourself in the dream world doing a particular you know, assignment in real life, you will have the grace to do that assignment. If you see yourself increasing in the dream in real life, it will be so unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover, I cover. I cover this particular water lifted on this holy mountain. I cover with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. I cover with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ. I cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, 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 take control, take over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Let us drink together by faith. If you believe in Jesus' name, amen. We're entering into the hour of ministration. And we have very few minutes for this session. So put in your prayer mandate, put in your prayer, prayer, put in your prayer, prayer, prayer. If you're sick under the sound of my voice, this is the time start to put in your prayer mandate. Let me lead people to Christ and then come back to pray with those who need healing, people who need upliftment, expansion, increase of any kind, of any type. The Lord is here to visit each and everyone in Jesus' name. Whilst people are putting in their prayer mandate, if you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, you're under the sound of my voice right now, please stretch forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. 
I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Wash me clean with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You want to say with me? Wash me clean with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Praise God. Say with me, in any form, in any way, I have entered into any form of covenant or anyone has entered into any covenant on my behalf, knowingly and unknowingly. Say with me in the name of Jesus Christ that I denounce, I reject, I cancel any and every covenant entered into on my behalf, on behalf of my loved ones, consciously or unconsciously, I cancel it with the power of the blood of Jesus. I cancel it with the power of the Holy Spirit. Say with me, I believe Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake, for my sake was lifted from the grave. So I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, and so I find salvation. Man of God, <coughs> woman of God, excuse me, say with me, say I'm born again. Say I'm born again. Man of God, woman of God, say I'm born again, and it is binding in Jesus' name. If you would like to dedicate your life, say I dedicate, say I dedicate. Say with me, say, I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Can we start to pray? Man of God, woman of God, put in your prayer mandate. Everyone, anyone under the sound of my voice, put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. If you are just joining us, God bless you. You are not going to miss out. Just keep praying and later, please make sure you watch this broadcast again. It's very important for anyone and everyone on this holy mountain. Today's topic is very important because I know that you will be rewarded by God in the place of your dream. So you need to be armed, you need to be armed, you need to understand. You'll be rewarded in your place of dream. Your dream will not be a place of being afraid or being scared or things like that. No, it will not be your portion. Your dream world will become a place of encountering God the way you ought to. I start to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, trusting God for healing. Trusting God for healing, spiritual intervention in their dream world. Anyone, everyone that have been chased by any form of evil altar, any form of evil altar, however they manifested in your dreams, anyone that have been chased, anyone that have been overthrown or whose destiny or glory have been overthrown in the dream world, in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus Christ start to put things back in order for you. You will have a dream again. You will have a dream of correction. You will have a dream where the Holy Spirit will make corrections. Will move over the face of the deep and bring corrections. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any negative dream I cancel right now with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Any form of infirmity, sickness, any form of illness, any form of, you know, anything that is manifesting in your life, in the life of your children, contrary to the will of God. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this year, my God is going to give you riches and honor. You don't work for it. Bible says, let him that work not eat. But work cannot produce wealth or riches. It is a gift from God. And for you to receive such gift, you must harmonize with the word of God. You must harmonize with the word of God. You must harmonize with the power of prayer. You must harmonize with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Start to check yourself, man of God, man of God. No matter the name of that illness or sickness, it is gone. It is done. It is gone. It is done. Check yourself. I thank God for the testimonies reaching me from men and women of God. I cannot call the names, but as time goes on, as Holy Spirit permits, I do share these testimonies on this mountain. On this mountain. I have seen, I've heard, and I've, I've received several people shared their dreams and as the lord gave us instruction the dreams the lord brought them to reality the ones that were negative the lord scattered it i want you to know that in jesus name the lord is entering into partnership with you that platform becomes a platform of reward that's what we are focusing on and every evil altar that wants to fight against the reward that god intends through that dream platform holy ghost fire scatter holy ghost fire destroy 
Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter. Holy Ghost fire destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Everyone that have received a dream from the Lord, receive the grace to offer unto the Lord. Offer sacrifice unto them. Receive the grace. May your spirit, may your soul, may your spirit, may your soul not be quiet. May it continue to disturb you until you offer. Because when you offer, you activate your dream. When you offer, you activate what God showed to you to become a reality. So I am praying a good prayer. May your soul, may your spirit not make you to find peace. May I not find peace when God speaks to me until I stand up to make an offering. Until I offer selflessly unto God. Somebody receive the grace to offer selflessly unto God. And let God be the judge, not man. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord honor you. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your household. Upon whatsoever you are finding to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Omega, may the beginning and the end grant you peace. <coughs> the Lord grant you peace. Excuse me. May the Lord grant you peace now and forevermore. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everyone celebrating their birthday today, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I decree that many more days will celebrate in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ, this new year that God has opened before you, it will be a great year. It will be a wonderful year. The Lord wipe away every tears on this mountain. The Lord wipe away every tears in the life of everyone related to us. The Lord wipe away tears in our community and honor and lift you up. Everyone that God is using on this mountain to make this broadcast a reality. Everyone God is using. Eternity will not fail to reward you. Your dream world must be a place of reward. The Lord reward you greatly with riches and honor in the name of Jesus Christ as you're supporting the work of God, as you're ensuring that somebody somewhere is receiving the word and the word is going. The Lord reward you, the Lord lift you up, the Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is doing the work of evangelists, everyone sharing the broadcast, everyone making a comment, God who see in the secret openly reward you. The Lord reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that have offered their meat offering, everyone offering sacrifices unto God. Whether morning sacrifice, morning, afternoon, evening sacrifice, may the Lord, may the Lord accept your sacrifices in the life of your son, in the life of your daughter, in the life of your spouse, in the life of your family members, in the life of your community, in the life of the church, in the life of the man of God, in the life of the work of God. Whichever capacity God is using you in the community, in the, in, the, in the world at large, wherever God is using you and your offering as unto God, may your sacrifices be acceptable unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, so shall it be. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the power of God and the mercy of God and how God is leading us on the mountain. Please, whenever you have a dream and that dream, you are convinced that that is not what God intends for you. Right there and then, don't waste your time. Immediately, where you had that dream, don't leave that position if possible. Wherever you had that dream, stay there and plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Stay there and cancel that dream with the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Three things I've said. Right there, once you have a dream, don't stand up if you are sitting down. If you are lying down, don't stand up. Still remain lying down. Whichever position you had that dream or vision or trance and it's not the will of God by your understanding and by the little you know about the word of God. Right there and then, plead the blood of Jesus Christ to scatter that dream command the power of the Holy Spirit to destroy that dream in Jesus name and watch what will happen but immediately you have received from God and that may, you know that this is the mind of God for you right there and then 
don't stand up if you were sitting don't stand up if you were lying down the same position seal that dream with the blood of jesus christ instantly seal that dream with the blood of jesus christ cover that dream with the power of the holy spirit instantly cover that dream with the power of the holy spirit in jesus name then rise up later on during the day when you can and offer sacrifice unto god offer a meat offering unto god sow a seed and watch what god will do take note of this watch this year and see how this year will unfold for you if you love what you are seeing then make sure that it becomes your life pattern i have shown you in second kings chapter 3 verse 17 and verse 20 and i've shown you again the same principle in first kings chapter 3 from verse 10 to 15. i've shown you in the book of acts also the same principle i've shown you in the book of acts chapter 10 and i've shown you also in genesis i've shown you genesis 37 the same thing i've shown you genesis 31 genesis 37 verse 5 and genesis chapter 31 verse 11 so and i believe somebody that your life will not remain the same again god bless you my name is apostle jumbo isong and i'm thanking god he has given me the grace to be a chaplain commander i bless his holy name on this missionary outreach mountain of ppp praise preaching and prayer what god is helping us to do and what god is helping us to achieve it can only be god i salute everyone god is using to make this broadcast a success god bless you god honor you god lift you up god who see in the secret openly reward each and every one of us in jesus name god bless you in jesus name if you are watching us on a, from another platform and you want to be part of the live broadcast for now we are having live broadcast on facebook only for now so all you need to do is come to the facebook search engine and type at j-u-m-b-o-i-s-o-n-g as one word so as you type it search for at j-u-m-b-o-i-s-o-n-g and as you search missionary outreach mountain of praise preaching and prayer ppp will come up like and follow that page and whenever we are online you get notification also whenever you make comment i'm able to peruse i'm able to see in, in real time god bless you god honor you Tomorrow is day 13 of our fasting and praying. If the Lord give, grants us the grace, we might meet very quickly for prayer in, later in the evening because normally there's broadcast on Friday, but we are in the period of fasting. So we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Okay, make sure you are waiting on the Lord. Make sure minimum 6 to 12, you are waiting and you are praying. Your dream world from today becomes a place of reward. It will never be a place of torment. It will never be a place of, of, of setback. You will always be rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. God honor you. Permit me to sign up my usual way. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. Baruch, Hashem, Adonai, meaning blessed be the name of God. I see everybody online. I celebrate you. God honor you. God bless you. God lift you up. I appreciate everyone. Connie, oh, God bless you, man of God. Anne Marie Williams, God bless you, man of God. Kedia to S, God bless you, man of God. God bless you, Naomi M. God bless you, man of God. Mirilla L. God bless you, Mirilla L. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Mirilla L. God bless you. God lift you up. Everyone on this mountain, evangelist, engineer, Obasinemeke, God bless you. God lift you up. I'm thanking God for everyone God have used. When the T, God bless you. When the T, when the T came in very briefly, but God bless you, man of God. When the T. God bless you. God bless you. E.E. E. Friday. Each and every one on this Monday. Woman of God came here to us. God bless you. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you real good. Everyone that is watching and yet not typing, just want you to know that we appreciate what God is doing in you and through you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Joyce Koroma. God bless you. Joyce W. Koroma. God bless you. K.T.U. Oh, God bless you. Kofi, God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. Daniel E. God bless you. God bless you. Esther Melinda. God bless you. Esther Melinda. God bless you. God bless you. Margaret K. B. God bless you. Margaret K. B. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Prince Clement. God bless you. Man of God. God bless you. 
Prince Clement, God bless you. It was nice to hear from you, man of God. God bless you, D. Woloba. God bless you. God bless you, Julia. A. God bless you, Mike Bradford. God bless you, Sarah K. God bless you, Elizabeth N. God bless you. God bless you, woman of God, our mother, E. O. Isong. God bless you, man of God. Prince Mighty, I got your message. God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. God let. God bless you. God bless you, Kofi. God bless you, Jeff Pell. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. Permit me to sign up my usual way. Baruch Hashem Adonai, meaning blessed be the name of God. God bless you. If I didn't mention your name, pardon me. It's just an error from the computer, just the error from my system here. Please, I appreciate everyone so well. Please don't leave the broadcast without typing. It can only be God. If you watch what everyone is doing, that's our signing out. Please join me to sign out. It can only be God. God bless you, Wendy T. Okay, it's nice to see you there. Thank God you're still hanging on. God bless you. Okay, so somebody just sign out. Don't leave the broadcast without saying it can only be God. God bless you. Joan F, I can spot you. Joan F, God bless you. God bless you. Ada K, I can spot you also. Ada K, God bless you. God lift you on. God bless you. God lift you. Don L, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, please don't leave the broadcast without typing it can only be God. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.